Democrats, because in just a short two weeks, we've overturned present consensus on multiple things, first of which Alzheimer's, a, you, a universal study that was used largely to cure Alzheimer's or as an attempted cure for Alzheimer's and has been mostly ineffective, yeah. has come out and proven to be completely fraudulent. And then we've also heard in the last couple of weeks that chemical imbalance in the brain is not actually the thing that causes mental illness in people. And that very often the drugs that were given to people that tried to fix this chemical imbalance were either the same as a placebo or had no effect at all. And then, of course, the FDA just released warning labels for puberty blockers that we've been told are just simply a pause on puberty. But now the FDA has had to come out and put warning labels on puberty blockers that say could cause blindness, among other things. The reason I bring up these studies is just simply this, is that you will become a prisoner of the moment if you do not listen to the shared wisdom of the past. So this is something not just for these University of Michigan students, but also for each and every one of us. We need to have and understanding that we all can be hijacked by ideology. It's, it can happen to all of us. We're all going to be hijacked by an idea. The question is this, is this the idea that is presently animating you and motivating you worthy of the task of guiding you in this life? If you're not willing to listen to seasoned doctors who have come before you, and you're not willing to listen to people who disagree with you, then what you're doing is building up your ideology on a house of cards that will quickly be blown down. As a Christian, I say it this way. You need to make sure that the Bible is held far enough away from you so that it's not just you infusing your opinion on the Bible, but also far enough away so that everything in your life can fall behind it. Because you need everything that you do to be a reflection of what this book says. And I say this to all of us, whether you be Christian or not. Is what you believe worthy of the task? And is what you believe worthy of the task of leading you in this life? And the only way to do that is by adopting shared wisdom of the past. So you just got done watching a small excerpt of a much larger episode. You can find the link to that full episode down below in the description of this video. So you definitely want to check that out because if you like that clip, you'll like the much larger episode. And while you're at it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and click that little bell to be notified when great new episodes of Anything Hurts come your way. Thanks for watching.